What's the difference between the shank and bore sizes? The shank size refers to the diameter of the metal stem that the carbide head sits on, otherwise known as the burr. Beginners typically start out with a 1 inch shank because they're smaller and they're compatible with the Dremel, which is an entry level rotary tool. 1 quarter inch shanks can support a larger burr and larger burrs can remove more material. 1 8 inch shanks are good for working on small pieces and for detail work. Bore size refers to the size of the hole in the center of the carving disc. Different tools require different bore sizes. You can check your tool's user manual to find out what size you will need, or you can literally just measure it yourself. In my garage I have three tools that I primarily use for carving. The first one is this small rotary tool. This type of tool is readily available at um, the big box hardware stores. Pretty easy to find. It has a 1 8 inch collet that takes the 1 8 inch shanks. Nice and easy to use. Make sure you push it in all the way. I like to leave a little bit of a gap between the collet and the cutter head and just tighten it up. This doesn't have to be super tight. You may damage the tool if you tighten it too much, but you want it to be snug. The second tool I use for carving in the garage here is this electric die grinder. It has a one quarter inch collet that takes the one quarter inch shanks. Similar to the rotary tool, you simply insert the cutter head. And this tool came with little wrenches here that I can use to tighten it. A cool trick I uh, learned to tighten it is that you arrange these two wrenches like a pair of pliers and you can just easily snug them up without too much hassle. Do the same thing to remove it. Make them like a pair of pliers. Just squeeze them together. It comes out pretty easily. The third tool I use in the garage here for carving is this angle grinder. Now this grinder is designed to take a 7 8 inch bore and installing the carving wheel is real easy. Just put it on there, make sure it's seated properly, and let's put the nut on. This grinder has a button on the back to keep the arbor from spinning as you snug this up. Just like that. It doesn't have to be super tight because this will automatically tighten because of the direction it spins. Remember to always use two hands on the angle grinder. Remember to always use proper safety precautions and equipment. Now go make some dust.